Here are six reasons to take long flight layovers. My name is Jermaine Coles, and I traveled to Portugal with my friend Mike and my godfather, Mr. Chapman Roberts. After spending time in Abu Ferro, Portugal, we decided to maximize the travel experience by booking extended layovers in other cities. Here are some tips that I hope you will learn from. Number one, cheaper flights. On our travel dates, a non-stop flight from New York City to Lisbon is slightly more expensive than a one-stop flight. This price difference can be applied towards the cost of your hotel. Number two, rest and refresh. When traveling abroad, there are time zone differences to consider. A long layover may help your body with this adjustment, giving you ample amount of time to eat, sleep, or in my case, book a massage before taking a long nap. Number three, experience new cultures. Lisbon is one of the oldest cities in Western Europe that was likely founded around 1200 BC and was historically known as the seaport for trade between the Mediterranean Sea and Northern Europe. Our favorite form of transportation was to use the tram, which took us up to the hill to the castle of St. George. During our tour of the castle, I learned that it was first built as a fortress, but then modified and expanded during the rule of the Moors in the 11th century. By the 13th century, it reached its maximum glory and was used to house military troops and the elite in case of siege. Now listen, these are some cool facts, but um, can I get one of these built for me back in the USA? No, seriously. <laughs> Okay, we're in a castle, a fortress in Lisbon. And I have to be honest, <laughs> I've never been in one before, but I feel like I'm in a movie right now. Like, I'm your Prince Charming. I'm your Prince Charming, forever. What can I say about Portugal? First, it's a beautiful, beautiful city. <laughs> Quiet. Uh, the food has been great so far. But we kind of came at a bad time where the pandemic, everything shut down at 3.30. And so we are only able to eat takeout. However, we did not let it stop us. We went to the castle in Lisbon. And here we are just exploring the town. Bam! Portugal is known for its national soccer team, so if you're a fan, purchasing a team souvenir is a must. Then you have to try the codfish cake with Sierra cheese filling, which is freshly made and then fried to perfection. If you enjoy sweet wine, then you will appreciate the wine selection of the ports, some of which remain in wooden barrels for four to six years before being sealed in a bottle and then preserved since the early 1900s. For dessert, we ate Portuguese custard tarts and unlike British custard tarts, these are made with puff pastry, making the finish flaky and lightly crisp. To top the evening off, we made our way to an artist-run space called Mono to meet up with dancer Patricia Keller and her fiancé. Their exhibits are extraordinary, so in the description below, I'll add their link. Have an old co-worker or classmate that lives abroad? The number four reason that you should take a long layover is to visit friends. Likewise, Chapman made plans to meet up with his buddy who lives in France, but we made a short pit stop in Barcelona before meeting up with him. Barcelona, some place I've always wanted to go to ever since I was in the eighth grade because my Spanish teacher encouraged us to come and try the food. I finally made it. This is Gary. Chapman's former military bandmate, whom he had not seen in over 25 years. For two days, the two of them happily bonded and shared stories, including how they both became successful musicians and one on Broadway. Now, before we left, Gary showed us around Narbonne, 
which is known for its archaeology museums and markets. Now, in two previous travel vlogs, I traveled to Italy and documented my experiences in Rome. So it was beyond exciting to learn that this city was first founded as a Roman settlement. This is Via Domitia, Roman Road. Well, a fragment of it anyway. It was the main highway that once stretched from Italy all the way to Spain. And this road is the mystic route traveled by the infamous Hercules. Another site that you should consider visiting is the Narbonne Cathedral, located in close proximity to the Roman road. With its Gothic style, this cathedral has a remarkable collection of 14th century decorative carvings that have been reassembled after being damaged in the French Revolution. I was most fascinated by the high vaulted ceilings and the massive size of the grand organ, and of course, Broadway veteran Chapman Roberts put on an impromptu show. Let's take a look. The number five reason to take a long layover is to revisit cities. After leaving France, it was time to go home. But before we did, we just had to revisit Barcelona to experience the nightlife and to eat more tapas. Uh, what are you over there drinking? What are you drinking? Huh? Drinking soda? Soda pop. So we had breakfast in Lisbon, we had lunch in Barcelona, and we had dinner in the mountains of the Pyrenees in the south of France. Who does that in a one day period? We do. <laughs> Are you now ready to book a long layover? Let me know your answer in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and until the next video, adios.